Welcome to Sunny Orchard. This is Black Beauty. There are lots of grapes on Black Beauty. Lots of grapes. Even more grapes. Try them. Wow. I've never seen this much grapes on any vine. Ever. There are lots of grapes. Most disappointing this year? Darlene. Arlene barely has anything. Mm. Barely. This is my boo. <laughs> this is Ison. Ison has a decent grape. This is younger than the other vine. This. And look how awesome this is. Walking through a jungle of delicious muscadine. Now, this is Darlene right here. I mean, this is Ison. Ison's good. Darlene here. Back to Darlene. She barely has anything. I mean, it's enough for family to eat, but I'm greedy, so it doesn't have much. This, this is all you don't combine. This is, this is um, early fries. The thing I don't like about early fries is vigor. See that? That's how I think it should be. This thing barely comes down to halfway. But it does make lots of grapes. I think because it's not very vigorous, the grapes quality suffer it's uh it's just sweet it's it's like sweet water i bet you if i thin it out it'd be amazing i thin out the grapes it's just just gonna be amazing but that's that's why i didn't get supreme because this is what i'm afraid of this is uh, uh late fries late fry is not performing very well this year uh, last year there was a lot. Maybe I pruned it wrong this year. There's some. It's decent amount. Decent amount. Early fries. Early fries. There are lots of great. And this is Nesbit. It's mm, a lot of grapes. Freaking a lot of grapes. It's just like the other one. Uh, Triumph. Just like Triumph. Lay fries. Amazing. This is Pam over here. Decent amount. Decent amount. Not bad. Decent amount. See the uh, vigor. Everything has good vigor except early fry. And everyone has the same treatment. Two scoop of quail poop. Yeah, two scoop of quail poop. Nest bit. Yeah. Amazing. 
Nothing that's a bit bad. Try him. Back to try him. One of my favorites because it's early. It completely ripened before most people, most of the other grapes uh, kicked in. So it's one of my favorite right now. Uh, so my short season, this is the only variety that completely um, uh, ripe and picked off the vine like, completely uh, before the season is over. But this is my favorite. This is a beauty. Uh, let me take you to the side yard. This is uh, Triumphs. Originally, I, I ran out of space and I was I didn't know where to put it, so I put it out here and it performed so well, I, I made another copy and put it in there. And I'm going to replace most of the late fries and nest bit. I might keep, I might keep icing because uh, it's actually decent. It's big, <clears throat> all ripened at the, almost the same time. Uh, so all good. Now, if you guys stick around for six minutes, uh, you guys are welcome to this. This is uh, a peach tree. This is a uh, wind blow. It's loaded this year. <coughs> I'm very happy. This is uh, this is Loring, Loring. It's okay. It's only a third year, both of them. This is my, uh, I think, uh, Sinsaiski Asian pear. Loaded. Oh. This is my boo again. This is my uh, Tachuro pear. Loaded. Really good. I like it. Uh, the best tasting, but also the latest one is this one. This Korean Giant. It's really good. Like, it's better than all the other ones. But because it's so late, you need the other ones. Uh, this is her favorite. Uh, persimmon. Lots and lots and lots of persimmon. I don't know what I'm going to do with all these persimmon. Lots of persimmon, but my most beautiful tree that I love is the pawpaw tree. Look at this loaded pawpaw. This is uh, oh, look at that huge pawpaw. Oh man. They're just so pretty. I, I eat like maybe six of them when they're ripe. It tastes kind of like banana, so not that impressive. Oh man, what happened here? Must be deer or something. Pop. Alright guys, welcome to Sunny Orchard. Have a good day.